how about we talk about humans? Because humans tend to be the common thread with all business transactions. Truth. Have you found that to be the case? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because I haven't, I haven't closed any four-legged creatures with you. Not yet. <laughs> What did I get myself into? I have no freaking clue. It's just another day in the life of the copy warrior. I, I think I've uncovered Dale's secret. The sales rebellion is a front. It's, this is actually a life rebellion that he's engaged upon. So, Dale, what the f are you talk about, dude? <laughs> We can talk about girls, we can talk about boys. Yeah. Talk about girls and boys. Okay. Don't turn it. All right, I, I, think you're, I think you're onto something. How about we talk about humans? Because humans tend to be the common thread with all business transactions. Truth. So I'm David Breyer and? Dale Dupree. And so we happen to, no, we didn't just run into each other. Yes, we did actually set it up. We're in Florida, we just had lunch and Dale's sister is eating more than any human single individual can actually eat. But yet, she's still lean, mean, and attractive. Go figure. I have no idea. She probably has some, like, I don't know, nuclear generator in there that's actually, you know, metabolizing all this crap. That's all we can figure out. She's still a mystery, and she will probably be showing up on some mystery discovery show on TV at a future date to be announced. But independent of that. <laughs> that was really good. Thank you. For, <laughs> thank you. All right, so here's the deal. So you know Dale. Dale is like a freaking sales beast. He's like, you know, Mr. Crumpled Letter. Crump Anything that comes into his vicinity gets crumpled one way or another. And then he converts those crumpled items into gold. That's very kind of you. I tried to convert them into gold, at least. I think more or less you know, though, try does not exist in your, in, your, uh, in your freaking vocabulary. You don't even know how to spell the word try. That's true, too. <laughs> yeah, and I, but I think that's also what makes me good at what I do, is that I, I don't ever take an idea and say, I'm going to try and make this work. I take an idea and I say, I am going to make this work. Absolutely. And there's failure along the way when I do that, obviously, yep. like most things. But at the same time, it's about being audacious enough to take those risks. Cool. Audacious. That's a great word. And, the thing, and that's, that's what I love. When Dale drops one of his posts on LinkedIn or he like, or we talk or whatever like that, he hooks me. He gets me engaged. He, you, he's brilliant at storytelling. Brilliant at storytelling. And he's got the right hook. And he's willing to do whatever. The one thing that I will say that I see that Dale does that I don't see enough people do is that He's willing to make a fool of himself. If that's what it takes to actually do the deal, he's willing to make fun of himself, make fun of the process, make fun of the game that we're all involved in, and do whatever it takes to just completely get the impact and stand out from the crowd. And that's probably why we get along well, because I'm willing to stand out from the crowd as well. And so, and because here's the other side. So that's on the sales side. Now you take it on the branding side. On the branding side, you got any offer, any product, any message, any brand. If it's gonna blend in and be like everybody else and be like the thousand other options that anybody, any of us has, it's gonna blend in, it's gonna basically look, smell, and taste like shit. So, since, I don't know about you, but I haven't found too many businesses that actually have as a goal or in their mission statement, or business statement, we would like to be seen, smelt, or tasted like shit. Have you found that? Not yet. No, not yet. So, and if you're doing that right now, I would say stop watching this video and please do something else. Just take a walk, do whatever. But, um, but the key thing is, is you know, it's getting that level of differentiation, getting that level of attention, getting that level of engagement, hooking people in. Be willing to be transparent. I mean, if you're there to sell, you're there to sell. But you know, like anybody, I mean, it's like the, the selling is help. You're helping them get something that's going to benefit them. Sure. If your attitude is to serve, then you have to sell something at some point because in order to make their life better, then you've got to provide that value and that product that they have to purchase in the first place. Yep. But if you're also willing to serve, you are taking a completely different approach than 99% of most salespeople because you're not in it for yourself or the money, you're in it for the betterment of your the community. The benefit the of the individual in front of you. Absolutely. Right. It's a total, total shift. It's a total shift. Get that shift straight and you will, you right by just doing that alone and knowing is it, you know, the deal, the deal, the signed contract is not the goal. The person being helped is the goal. Amen.
I mean, that is the difference. And, the, you know, the contract is simply, that's just like a, a, a logistical point to conclude the action, man. Right. Right? right. Absolutely. Yeah. And it, at the same time, too, your prospect wants to pay you. They want to sign that contract because you've created all that value and you've built a friendship based on credibility in the first place. And so they, again, they want to reward you. And then at the same time, they're also going to be an advocate for you, an evangelist inside of the community. Totally. Now, the interesting thing about this is that while this is going on, Dale and I are, are witnessing this. I got I to gotta show you. We're witnessing this kind of crap. These two, these two freaks are just like, just going at it, eating the whole freaking dessert. Look, look at, look, look at this said. eating. Look, look at this. This is like unfreaking just sitting there, man. Look, look. Yeah, it's <laughs> just sitting there. It's like the food was innocent. It just, you know, it was innocent. We don't want to take it's it out of his misery. To serve us. <laughs> they're, 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 they're here to serve the food by actually making it feel valuable by eating it. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm just trying to live up to my prior description. <laughs> and we didn't even give a prior description, but we're going to give one now. <laughs> so anyway, so there you go. So what's the, what's the final takeaway that we should give people? I mean, I think what sums up everything that you just said yep. is that people need to be changing the game yep. inside of their industry, not just for themselves, but for their prospects. Totally. That's the deal. That's the deal. Give. Give without expectation. Give with the intent of the other person being helped. What is your problem with it? <laughs> I don't even know who they are. Dale doesn't even know who they are. She keeps saying she keeps saying that she is his sister. We have no evidence. We have no birth certificate. We have no DNA samples. It's just unbelievable. Anyway, but with all that, but that's the thing. Serve, 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 and when you're when you're done with that stuff, serve some more. But whatever you do, do not serve these two freaks. Hi. <laughs> they are just insatiable. They will eat anything within their within like a, like a freaking ten foot radius. <laughs> <laughs> They're human sponges. <laughs> okay, this has been us and oh, and there's the dude. There's the dude. Say hi. Oh, thank you. Say hi. Boom. Copier Warrior Junior. Copier Warrior Junior. All right, so this is so this is three. This is three D's and a B. Dale Dupree, David Breyer. Three D's and a B. Mm -hmm. Coming to you live oh, yeah. from. Oh, yeah. Beautiful Dunedin, Florida. Boom. Yo.